welcome to my views and news important news story from ethiopia where the romo liberation army allegedly carried out an attack just 30 kilometers away from addis ababa ethiopian capital it happened last night reportedly several casualties are being confirmed number of casualties being reported by ethiopian news sources is uh, less than the actual number of casualties which happened in this city just 30 to 40 kilometers away from the capital secondly amhara regional government failed to organize a pro government protest today preparations were underway in a city of south gondar but uh, protest could not be held and thirdly amhara prisoners have gone on hunger strike Uh, reports are coming in from some prisons in the amhara region lawyer of these prisoners uh, has confirmed that the prisoners have gone on hunger strike who are these prisoners how long will the hunger strike continue uh, we saw that when jawar beklegerba were in prison uh, in 2022 they went on hunger strike as well but later uh, they postponed uh, they put an end to their hunger strike uh, firstly viewers uh, alarming developments from romania because just a few days ago the two parties were meeting in tanzania zanzibar they were holding talks uh, they were meeting sitting at the table uh, statements from the government the two sides were uh, expressing their resolve to resolve the issue in romania through dialogue but after the conclusion of talks on daily basis we are hearing of attacks hearing of uh, fighting between ola and government forces in different parts of romania now uh, it is being reported that some unknown militants attacked several police stations just 30 kilometers away from addis ababa ethiopian capital it happened in bishofto Bishofto Debrezeit is uh, a city in Romania just 30 kilometers away from Addis Ababa is uh, Bishofto in Bishofto there is uh, a military base air force base of Ethiopian army as well in the two year long war in Tigray we saw that several drones were seen parked at this air, air force base and uh, through this air force base uh, ethiopian government received arms shipments uh, from other countries like uh, turkey the uae we share with you several developments regarding arrival of uh, weapon shipments uh, in bishofto in 2021 uh, 2022 special 2021 now uh, an attack was carried out by uh unknown militants at around midnight midnight sunday night the target was police several police stations in sunshine area in other areas of bishofto came under attack police had quarter came under attack a hotel outside of which police force was deployed came under attack mainly the police deployed came under attack outside the hotel at least four to five police stations were attacked by militants so you can imagine how many the militants uh, were several dozen this uh, this uh, attack cannot be conducted by just uh, a few uh, militants definitely dozens of uh, armed uh, uh people were involved in this attack because several police stations simultaneously uh, came under attack how many were killed how many were taken prisoner how many were injured ethiopian news sources say that only 5 were killed five police officials but what i have learned from the ground is that number of casualties is higher uh, according to my information uh Uh, more than two dozen were killed wounded and captured rather around three dozen 
around three dozen were killed injured and captured the attackers uh, abducted several police officials some attackers were injured too but they managed to take their injured fighters along so they did not leave their uh, injured uh, companions behind it was a total failure of security uh, arrangements in Bishofto. If the attackers can reach Bishofto and they can attack five police stations, it means they can reach the Bishofto Air Force Base as well. And if they can carry out an attack in Bishofto, uh, they can reach Addis Ababa as well. Just 30 kilometers away from Addis Ababa, they were... Uh, there, uh, for around two hours, there was exchange of gunfire. By the way, where was the Ethiopian army? Any deployment of Ethiopian army at the Bishofto Air Force Base? Why didn't the army come to the rescue of police in Bishofto? I heard fighting was mainly between police and uh, uh, fighters. Now, next question is, who were the attackers? Ola fighters or some other groups? Well, is there any other organized group in this area which can carry out such a big attack? I have no information about any other group having this capability. Ola has this capability. So my uh, guess, I would say, is that uh, there is Ola behind this attack. No such attack can be carried out by... Uh, uh, some other groups which are not as organized as big as Ola is in this uh, zone. But it's an alarming development that uh, we were hoping that talks would be fruitful between the Ola and government uh, in Tanzania. Before the start of talks, uh, there was relative calm in Romania. Suddenly, after the conclusion of talks, we're seeing now on daily basis fighting between Ola and government forces. In Vasheva, they fought, uh, Ola confirmed uh, the engagement there. In Isheva as well, in Horogodoro too. Now in Bishofto, reportedly, Ola was involved in this uh, attack on Ethiopian police stations in the city. Secondly, viewers, uh, Amhara regional government failed to organize a protest in support of the government in South Gonda today. Preparations were underway to organize people to take to the streets uh, to support the government, to condemn Girmashitila's murder, uh, to support uh, Ethiopian army. Since last night, preparations were underway, but then we saw countermeasures. Youth uh, started uh, circulating and distributing pamphlets opposing uh, today's uh, protest, pro-government protest. That is why no protest could be held in the city of South Gondar. Name of the city is Nifas Micha. Nifas Micha, South Gondar. Here, reportedly, local government failed to organize a protest today. Uh, we saw that in Lalibala too. In Lalibala, a protest was held. A government uh, somehow managed uh, to bring people out. But when they started the rally, pro-government rally, it turned into anti-government demonstration and uh, security forces had to then disperse the rally participants. Several were arrested too. In Nifas Micha, government could not uh, convince the people to come out. In Marsa as well, we reported this morning that in Marsa uh, preparations were underway but no protest could be held by a local government. Rather, Fano fighters attacked a prison there in Marsa city. So, you can see that in Wallo, in, not in Wallo, in Gojum, in Gondar, in some parts of Wallo too, it is difficult for a government to organize a government-backed protest in support of the government or in condemnation of Grimashtila's murder. Lastly, we heard Amhara prisoners have gone on hunger strike. Uh, Professor uh, Sisse Agatio and Fano fighters and several others have gone on hunger strike in some prisons in the Amhara region. 
where uh, hundreds are in prisons, uh, Fano fighters, uh, Fano supporters, Amhara activists, journalists, uh, intellectuals, they are being arrested. They have been arrested since last year uh, and now they are going on hunger strike. Uh, three day hunger strike started today. From Monday till Wednesday, these Amhara prisoners will observe hunger strike. Uh, their lawyer uh, has confirmed that uh, Cesar Gaccio and around 40 other Amhara prisoners have announced to go on hunger strike. They are not eating, taking anything. We saw the hunger strike, uh, we saw similar hunger strike by political prisoners, uh, Jawar Bekle Garba last year, no, in, in 2021, 20, I think. Uh, but that hunger strike. Uh, did not work later uh, through some backdoor uh, uh, engagements Jawar, Bakle Garba, they managed to uh, come out. Uh, so far, no backdoor dealings between these Amhara prisoners and Ethiopian government. Why? Because uh, there is no central leadership to speak on behalf of these Amhara prisoners. There is no one man who can represent all these people. Some are journalists, some are activists, others are former fighters. So, there is no one leader, a position leader in the region. That is why all are fighting on their own. That is why all are suffering, it seems. Let us see, will this Sangha strike uh, bring about any change regarding the release of these prisoners or not? We will see in coming days. Thank you for watching.